We are in Carlisle, Saskatchewan. Just starting our day here. We're gonna get these tires delivered, and I think then we're gonna go home. I haven't quite heard what the next plan is, but that's what I'm assuming. We'll find out soon though. Let's just focus on getting these tires off my trailer. I'm gonna put my lookers on. What's going on again? Here. Almost don't need these things, especially the mornings. The evenings, I need them more. Ah, there we go. Ho, oh, you're looking good. Okay, so you're probably looking behind me there and seeing my winter jacket. Uh huh. Uh huh. Did you notice outside? Did you notice? We got a little bit of snow overnight. We didn't get a lot. So good thing I came prepared. I've got my winter jacket right there. I've got my winter gloves up here warming up. I've got a backup pair over there warming up. So that they're both nice and toasty warm when I get to my customer in half an hour. So let's go get this done. Like I said, I'm assuming I'm going home after this. There's not much I'll be able to do because I have to be home by the end of tomorrow. And uh, it's gonna take me till the end of tonight to get home. So I'm pretty sure they're just gonna be like, all right, Josh. Call it a day. Go have fun moving. Alrighty then. Turn my ears on, just in case someone wants to talk to me. I've connected that to this speaker now. I didn't know I could do that. I did that now. That's pretty cool. So now their voices, when they're talking to me and I'm driving, when the, it doesn't come from way over here, it comes from right here. So far, I don't know how I like it. It's kind of a tinny speaker. And it's hard to understand people over the CB anyways, especially uh, the further south you go. Like, I can't understand anything anybody's saying on the CB down there. So, like, pom 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 come on, come on, ten, ten, four, come on, pom 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 That's all I hear on the radio, all the time. I don't know, some guys, I guess they, they pick up the microphone and they, they go into character. I, it's like trucker character, super trucker, I don't know. Who am I to criticize, right? I probably sound like a goof on there too. Hey there guys, what's the weather look like up ahead there, eh? Let's just double check that our trailer is going to come with us. What's going on here? Why does it feel like my trailer brakes are locked? Oh, woo! Trailer brakes were frozen a little bit. Oh boy, winter really is here. It's only minus four outside, yes. Okay, there we go. Trailer is not gonna fall off. The trailer brakes works, work, and they release. All right. Everything else looked good on the truck. Oil level's good, all fluid levels are good. Everything under the truck looks good. Come on, old blue. Oh, let's go. Wait for the Truman Show here. I bet you there's gonna be a parade just in time for me. See, that's someone talking on the CB already. I have no idea what he said. Continue on this road for 44 kilometers. Carlisle, Saskatchewan. Thanks for hosting me tonight. I had a good night. We want to go this way. Thank you. 
that were here. This is actually a brand new jacket. I haven't worn it yet. I've had it for a little while already. It was a gift. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh boy. Juke. It's officially that season. Let's get this done. Oh, these straps are an absolute mess. So the trailer's unloaded. My load is right here. I've been here. I can't throw this out yet. Uh, that's the tape that was holding the styrofoam on the top. But uh, these straps got wet last night and then they froze overnight. So they're all ice right now, which makes it very hard to roll them up. They end up looking like this. So, it takes a lot longer to do this. It's like they're just rock hard. So a good trick that I don't have access to right now, that I should, the one thing I need to prepare myself with yet, right? Get a spray bottle and then put like, uh, winter antifreeze or winter windshield washer or something with antifreeze in it in the spray bottle and before you unroll your straps or as you're unrolling them just spray them down with that antifreeze and this won't happen but i don't have a spray bottle with antifreeze right now so you probably want to use a windshield washer uh antifreeze might be a little toxic to use you don't want that to get into the ground if you don't have to but that's a trick you can use or you can just struggle like this chose the path of struggle because why not it's our last load before we go home why not let's make our make, let's, let's just make our life more difficult today like this. just <laughs> it's like ah fun 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 really hard try to get it as tight as possible single one of them and I used 14 of them right I didn't count I don't care so they didn't all fit in my headache rack now because I have a storage compartment in there for them but I have it packed full of straps when they're uh, compressed properly and rolled up properly but now I couldn't roll them up as tight so I had to put three straps in here on my floor let them thaw out and I'll uh, have to re-roll all those straps uh, sometime I guess after we move or maybe next time I go out, because while the truck's in the shop, it, it is gonna melt everything and it's gonna thaw everything out. Everything's gonna thaw. So uh, the next time I use them, they'll be good to go, but. Oh well, it wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't that bad. So now we have an empty trailer behind us. Let's go drop this trailer off at our yard. Let's take our tarps, let's go to the shop, let's park the truck, and let's go home. Here's that snow we were waiting for. I'm eastbound, I'm into Manitoba now. And uh, about three hours from our yard where I'm gonna leave this trailer and then head to the shop. I'm hoping that I can get to the shop before things get too bad. I've heard from my family at home already that it's snowing there too. 
So there's going to be snow all the way there from here. So far the roads are still good. This part of the snowfall isn't that bad. It still melts when it hits the road, right? It, start, it starts getting bad when it starts piling up on the road. And when it starts getting much colder and water starts freezing. So hopefully I can get home before all of that happens. I think we'll be just fine. It's empty, and we're dropping it here in the yard. This is the last time I'm going home to our little old house. The next time I go on a trip, the next time I come home, I'll be coming home to our new house. So let's not waste any time. Let's get back to the shop. Let's get old blue out of the cold. The closer I'm getting to home, the more snow is on the ground. Glad we only got a little ways left to go. I bet you by the time we hit the road again after we move, there's gonna be a good solid layer of snow on the ground. I hope not, I hope this all melts. We haven't even had Halloween yet. That's coming up soon too. 
two, I guess. Wow. Time is just flying by. It's looking a lot like Christmas around here. Wow, we got quite a bit of snow here. So last winter I was in a different shop and that shop didn't have a floor drain. This one does, right down there. So this is the, the first test, sort of, of that floor drain. And look at this, it's already working. We don't have too much snow built up on the truck, but there was a little bit. Let that all melt off and that'll be so much easier to clean up tomorrow. Might even just clean up itself. That is so nice and handy. That's the, one of the main reasons I switched, like got into a different shop. There's a whole bunch of other reasons added onto that too, but one of the big reasons was I needed a floor drain because last winter, having a truck come inside from the snow in the winter time into a space without a floor drain, oh, it's just a nightmare. It just creates a lake on the floor and you gotta squeegee it all out with a floor squeegee. And this shop is also a lot bigger. In this one, we can fit the trailer in here as well, plus all of this storage, which is going to our house next week. Oh boy, this mess is finally going to be cleaned up. I mean, these things are still going to stay here. The mower will probably take to the house in summertime, but we won't need to mow the lawn again this year. So it'll stay in the shop over winter. I'll probably move it over here somewhere. But all of this, except the couches, they'll stay here. Go into the house. Finally get some more space in here. Most definitely a winter wonderland. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna stick around? It just might, we got quite a bit. But my bet is it's probably gonna disappear yet. It'll probably melt before we get snow that stays. Look at all the snow in this guy's car. Oh, smokes. Actually quite surprised. Usually west of Winnipeg gets worse weather than we do here in Steinbeck, but uh, this time we definitely got the worst of it. I missed it though. It must have snowed last night or this morning before I got here. Cause I didn't drive through a lot of heavy snow. This looks like it fell pretty quick. Pretty soon they're gonna have the uh, Christmas lights on, on Main Street. It's always the day after Remembrance Day, or Veterans Day in the U.S. I turn them all on. They're already hanging from the trees, I can see them. Who's this? Oh, heavy, heavy. Hey, quiet. Quiet, guys. Heavy. Have you been packing? All the boxes are still here. Have you packed your stuff yet? Hey, Diesel. Right. <laughs> You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Thanks. Look at this yard. Wiener, did you order all this snow? I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. This is not what I ordered. Yikes. So you see our gazebo is pretty much all taken down already. A couple more bolts. We'll take the frame down. Oh, boy. It's all covered in snow now. I'm sure by the time we move next week, uh... This will all be melted. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that crazy? Not even Halloween yet. Um.